So this is the store. Oh, those are cute. I should buy something. <laughs> I have so much stuff already. Yeah. See if they have anything new. I got Harriet a t-shirt too, even though she doesn't like the Beatles. I told her, I said, she likes gorillas. I'm like, no, you have to like the Beatles. So, okay, nothing really new out here. I don't think I have any more real estate in my van to keep decorating. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this one's cute. But it's like, I don't know. I mean, it's not the best quality, but <laughs> yeah, they've got a few more things. I have this one already, I have these two actually. I've got this one, which I don't really like. It's too fuzzy and then they gave me a discount because that one was kind of damaged so they gave me a discount for this one and then they got the purple one cool all right hey, we have dressing rooms wow you know it's only a wardrobe yeah. you know yeah come on we can take it back <laughs> oh, this is where they get the rings obviously oh that is awesome Obviously, they have to wash them too. These guys are washing. This is crafts. They'll take care of the shoes in here. See, this is my style. I would love like just dresses like that, like the dancing with the like with the, the ladder. Yeah, the, the, the ladder, ladder. Yeah. With Lucy and this guy, you're gonna see the ladder. You're gonna see how heavy that. Is. <laughs> so hanging out there between shows. Oh, I love the tables. Yes, we made those here. <laughs> and here we are. You know, here the two people stand first. You're probably familiar with a lot of this stuff. Oh. <laughs> this is like, I'm so happy. <laughs> you have no idea. I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, no, no. Believe me. I know oh, some wow. people really enjoy this stuff. So, and you're one of them. I just love it because people just come out of the ceiling. They come out of the yes, floor. You know. take you to the ceiling in a second. Oh, wow. But um, I wish I could throw you in a harness and let you try it out. You know what I mean? We're going to show you, uh, obviously, a lot of the props. Yeah. You know, we've about 600 props on this show. Just for that, like, hour and a half show. The, of course, the long remote controllers that are on the other side. I'll show right. you those. These, though, the kids play in the room. I'm going to jump in and I'm going to take some pictures. Inside, <laughs> uh, seven, I mean, there's so many years that I've done these things. 57, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59. It's pretty sturdy. It's got a gas pedal. <laughs> oh, okay. So actually, it's, it oh, so it really works. Yeah. But, um. So you work till seven, so then you just get everything ready and then like yeah, you don't- I work eight to four. Oh, okay. But today we have a- We'll warm up here and then they'll go out. Oh, this is a warm- Yeah, this is- that's one of my favorite scenes too. Because yeah. I rollerblade, but I would never- that would never be me. <laughs> and then here's the crash car, the one that comes apart. Oh, right, right. As you can see, it's all carbon fiber pieces. It's held together with magnets. Oh, that's awesome. There's five guys inside, six guys in the back. Oh, and when they, they um, apart. Yeah. yeah, the day in the life, like when, uh, when you she like, how light the pieces are. I had another one built, I had another one. About 60000 $60,000 for that? Probably still more reliable than most cars, you know, even with no engine. It covers the audience oh, right. for that part. When they pull the sheet out yeah. of the bed when it's flying. That's when everyone starts so, filming. Like everyone underneath, they, yeah. they all get their cameras out when they're yeah. not supposed to. <laughs> this is where they pull on the mics. Some of the performers do talk, of course. And, oh, it is real. It's not just it recording. Yeah, when Dr. Pepper yells, when Mr. P comes up and talks. So. <laughs> tricycles right here. All right. So these are the ones that come out. <laughs> and that's so cute. Um, what the that character's name? Dr. Roberts. All oh, right. Okay, this is light up teapot. Because oh. right? they needed to have some light on his face, you know. The other guys had those smoking umbrellas with the lights. Like, we need something. Can you make like a teapot that lights up? And I'm like, okay, I'll try. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
rollerblades. They don't even take the rollerblades off, they just keep going. Oh yeah, you just right to the dressing room. So what are they? They're just stunt people or they're not... I mean, well, they're guys who know how to rollerblade. Yeah, you know? like X Games. Yeah, that'd be really clever. This lady, this poor lady, her car was ripped off like six times after yeah. this album came out. I think it's in the Volkswagen Museum now. Oh, it is? Yeah. It looks so light when he's like throwing it around. Oh, yeah, but that's why it's so heavy. That's what lifts him. Oh, okay. He's a big guy. Yeah. You know, and this thing's lifting him up, so you know. And so this thing can kill you, you know, if it, if it swings <laughs> back and you're not in the right place. Right. You know, so you. And um, here is your piano. Basically, they'll move this right over here. They'll put it on that center lift. All right. We'll go up, the flaps will come down. So we're under the stage right we're now. We're under the stage right now, and you can see the pieces of the stage here and the mechanisms <laughs> that bring the stage pieces up and down. There's about seven different stage pieces that they either slide, pivot, or come straight down. Half's on this side, half's on the other side. We'll go see that in a second. But there's different stage pieces that they'll just slide on. Here's a flower riser at the finale. Those big flowers come out. Oh, stage. yeah. That's this piece. Here's a trampoline. <laughs> the trampoline number. So they'll roll this on. It'll come up. Oh, the revolution. Yeah, when they're, they're doing the. Yep, and then there will be a trampoline. Little bed for the kids. I get to get lots of new cellos from Amazon. Oh. And then I burn them and cut holes in them. And oh, nice. Distress them, you know, <laughs> kind of fun. So here's half a Seville row. They used to just smash these. The first time you saw it, they were just smashing them with their hands. Right. The since the second time you saw it, they have air cannons in here now. Oh, okay. That blast them, you know, because they added the blue meanies after the reflet, refresh and stuff like that. So. Look what he's fixing a trampoline. <laughs> sure, he just likes the trampoline. Or he was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> So here's when we make the, all the breaks and stuff like that. Oh, that's this is cool. the carpentry department, though. Before I signed my uh, contract, I'm like, who does the bricks? They're like, that's carpentry. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to deal with this. We placed the foam booth, as you saw in the original time you saw. Right. There was a foam booth in the middle. Oh, that's then right, yeah. And they changed to the van. <laughs> you know, reminiscent to the Beatles instruments. All but right. If you notice, I made a boo boo <gasps> on Paul McCartney's bass. What? It's right-handed. Okay, you're fired. I know. You're like, fired. Sorry. People notice no. that. You know? No, I'm done. <laughs> So this is, they have the trolleys, this is what automation controls. We have to jump to the trolley, open this up, move it on out, and bring it on down. Oh, okay. So that's how everything gets moved. Oh, those are the performers to that too, like the nurses and yeah. in your harness, and they'll open this up. The stage is reminiscent of the British flag. Oh, it and is? That's how it's shaped, you see? The two lanes, the one oh, right okay. Here. So it's kind of loosely based on. I'm never yeah. in the nosebleed seats. I shell out yeah. for like, at least row O or maybe row B. Right, <laughs> so. but that was there. Yeah. So rigging does a lot of work up here. Here's all our motors that transport all the set pieces and performers. And back here is where you have an automation technician sitting during the show. This is where they can see everything from the basement to up here to the stage level. They're moving all the stage. You know? Just from that one device? Pretty yes. much? Well, they have a few locations oh. they can do it from. But this is one location. And um, so if something goes wrong, you know, they will... If a lift gets messed up, they'll stop it. Uh -huh. You'll also hear number nine, number nine. I guess it's in one of the songs or something yeah. like that. Yeah. When you hear that, that means something has gone wrong. It oh, no. It doesn't know, but something's gone wrong. Maybe with a lift or something like that. So they'll maybe do a showstopper number. They'll come out and start dancing. You won't even know something went wrong. <laughs> and then you'll hear a bell. ding a ling a ling a ling a ling When you hear that, that means it's been fixed. Let's go back to the regular show. Where do they do rehearsals? They do it here or do they have somewhere They'll else? They do it here. They'll start later in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Only rehearsals to start around. Interesting. They're like, more things to jump on. What is this for? This ain't for our show. What is this for? Well, we have a bunch of um, booths like this. This is the stage management booth. We have the automation booth.
No, you have to make it just as special. Oh, that just made my day. I'm done with the tour. I've got my souvenir, which I'll put in the van. That was so cool. That was awesome. I did not expect to get a brick signed by all of the cast members. That was really, really awesome. So they're selling tickets right now. Unfortunately, I have to fly out super early in the morning, so I don't have time tonight to watch the show, but I would. <laughs> I would stay and watch it again, but I'll be back uh, next week, and then I'll be back before, um, you know, uh, in a you know a couple weeks as well. So yay! Thank you, Beatles Love, and thank you to my friend Chris for doing the tour. I was just blown away. I literally was going to cry. I was like, I've, no one's ever done something really sweet like that. So, thank you. Oh, anything for the van. Prudence will love her new brick. I just hope the whole set doesn't fall apart now that I'm walking out with one of the pieces. So, so that's so cool. Oh, I am blown away. Anyway, um, definitely come check it out, The Mirage. Um, it's a great, fantastic show. They've had a few like uh, re revamps of it over the years. So if you saw it a couple years ago, it's a little bit different this year uh, than it was when I saw it, or last year when I saw it last year, and then when I saw it in 2015. Uh, but yeah, they're already selling tickets. So I'm gonna go check out this store quickly and then head out. So thank you. That was really, really cool. I'm just, I'm just blown away. You have no idea. So anyway, that's my, my rollerblading goals. And to see the set, like to see the actual way they do everything, I have to see it again now because I've been all behind the scenes and I, I've you know, seen what they do. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna come back in a couple weeks and watch the show again. Um, and yeah, so thank you. Thank you Cirque du Soleil. You absolutely, literally made my day. Uh, I'm just, I'm totally like warm and fuzzy now. And you know, I have a heart of steel wrapped in, you know, encased in iron most days and no, I'm just kidding so that, I'm, I'm just blown away I did not expect to have that uh, the brick is awesome so another accessory for Prudence and uh, yeah so let's get out of here and I'll go back to the van and I gotta I gotta head out and you know go meet the day with the big old smile on my face I can't stop smiling my face is like hurting I'm smiling the whole time I'm like I'm, I'm just blown away all right well thank you and you know a little help from your friends and all you need is love Thank you.